As the Psalter closes, we have a couple of psalms that exhort everything in creation to join in praise to God. Psalm 148 is a lengthy exhortation to praise, starting with the heavenly hosts and the highest heavens calling on them to praise God. Uh, the stars, the sun and the moon, and the visible heavens are supposed to praise God. The high things of the earth, mountains and hills are supposed to praise God. The low things of the earth, the fish and everything that's in the sea is supposed to praise God. Plants are supposed to praise God. Weather systems are supposed to praise God. The winds, the, the mist, the snows, everything is supposed to praise God. The land animals and man, all kinds of human beings, princes and kings and judges, young men and maidens, old men and children, everything is supposed to join in a great chorus of praise to God. And that's summarized at the end of Psalm 150 with the exhortation to all flesh to praise God. Everything on earth that has flesh, everything on earth that is a living soul is supposed to praise God. The church has recognized this in various hymns and canticles. Uh, in, in the apocryphal version of the book of Daniel, there's a lengthy song of the three children, the three men in the fiery furnace, sing a, a lengthy song of praise where they're exhorting all of creation to join in praise to God. It's known in the Book of Common Prayers, the Benedicte Omnia Opera, uh, praise him or bless him, all you works of his. Christopher Smart, an, uh, an 18th century English poet, exhibits this and expresses this in a lengthy poem called uh, Jubilate Agno, Rejoice in the Lamb, where he calls on all the creatures of the earth to bring their distinctive gifts and their distinctive kinds of uh, uh, musical instruments in order to praise God. This is an exhortation in these psalms, but this exhortation will come true because God's intention is that earth will be filled with praise just as heaven is. Heaven is created as a soundscape. Heaven is created so it's filled with the musical glory of God. And God's intention is for earth to join in and for everything in the creation to join in praise, harmonizing on the music of the triune God.